guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look I'm wearing here. I really wanted to do a super sparkly and festive holiday makeup look using all drugstore products. I know I don't really use too many drugstore products on my channel, but I really wanted to start incorporating it. I asked you guys in my last video if you guys wanted to see more drugstore products on my channel, and a lot of you guys thumbs up the video and said yes. So here you go. I really hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm just going to prime my face with the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Face Primer, and then I'm going in with foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm in the number 105. I'm just going to dot that all over my face sporadically and then blend it out with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the color Light Medium. I'm just going to apply that underneath the eye area. And then for the rest of the face, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Neutralizer. And I'm just going to apply that in all the places I want to cream highlight in. And then I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender to blend everything out. If you are using a beauty sponge, you want to make sure that it's damp. This way it doesn't soak up all of your product. And to set everything, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color Creamy Natural. I'm first going in with a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to pack that on underneath the eye area and in all the areas that tend to crease a lot more. And then after that, I'm going to go in with a brush and just blend everything out so it's not so cakey or anything like that, and just set the rest of my face and down the neck as well. To warm up my complexion, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil. I'm just going to go ahead and start applying this in a three-like motion along the sides of my face. I'm also going to run it down my neck as well and on my chin. To contour, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color Coco, and I'm just going to be applying this directly under the cheekbone, around the perimeter of the forehead, and I'm also going to use this color to contour my nose as well. For blush, I'm going in with Milani's Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. And for that JLo Holiday Glow, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator in the color Golden. And I'm just going to be spritzing my brush with some Mario Badescu Facial Spray. You can use any facial spray you have, or you can use Visine if you have that as well. I'm just going to use that to dampen my brush so that way our highlight's a little bit more intense. Um, I guess it's kind of considered drugstore, right? The Mario Badescu one, because it's only $7 and you can find it at Ulta, but yeah. We're just going to go ahead and dampen our brush and apply that highlighter as generously as we want. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with the Maybelline The Blush Nudes Palette and I'm picking up this more nudey color and applying it all over the entire eye area to set our base. And then I'm going in with this mauve tone color and I'm going to be applying this directly on the upper crease and I'm also going to blend that down towards the crease as well. This is going to be our transition color for this look and I'm just going to continue to pack it on in windshield wiper motions until I get the intensity I'm looking for. I'm also going to dip back into that bone color to highlight the brow bone. Next I'm going in with this deep brown color and I'm going to be applying this to the outer V and through the crease. I really want to deepen up this area and add some depth so that way we get a nice gradient from lid to brow bone. I'm also going to drag that same color along the lower lash line to really smoke out the look. Next I'm going in with this even deeper brown color and I'm just going to be applying this to the outer V and along the lower lash line and then we're going to go ahead and switch brushes and I'm going to drag it through the crease just to add a little bit more depth. For the lids, I'm going in with the NYX Prismatic Shadow in the color Frostbite. It's a really pretty, just icy white eyeshadow with a blue-toned opalescence to it. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. I did spritz my brush, spritz my brush, spritz my brush with a little bit of the Mario Badescu Facial Spray just to dampen it. You can use any facial spray or Visine if you have it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger to pack on the rest just so I can get the color as intense as I want it to be. And for the glitter, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Gunmetal, and I'm just going to be applying this all over the entire lid area, right on top of that frostbite color. I'm going to be using a very light hand when applying this because I don't want to move any of the eyeshadow with the product because it's wet and it already has adhesive on it. It can move that eyeshadow around, so you want to make sure you use a light hand when applying it and just apply it evenly all over the entire lid space. 
And you also just want to make sure that you let it dry thoroughly because it will crease on you if you don't. So just make sure it's dry completely and you'll be good to go. Next I'm just taking the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color Blackest Black and I'm going to use that to line my waterline. For mascara, I'm using my favorite from the drugstore at the moment. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mango Rock Mascara, and I'm just going to be coating my upper and lower lashes. For lashes, I'm going in with the Eyler number 126 lashes. I've been wearing these pretty much every day. I really love them. They're pretty much a dupe for the House of Lashes Noir Fairy, so I love them, and I'm just going to be making sure I pinch them together so they blend in with my natural lashes. I'm then going in with my NYC Liquid Liner just to line my inner corners. To highlight my inner corners, I'm just going to go in with that bone color from the Maybelline The Blushed Nudes palette. Moving on to the lips, I'm first just going to be lining them with the NYX lip liner in the color Hot Red. And for lipstick, I'm using the Rimmel London Kate Collection lipstick in the number 10, which is a really pretty blue tone red. I did mention this in my last video for my top drugstore lipstick picks for fall and winter. If you haven't seen that, I will link it down below. And last but not least, to set everything, I'm using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. All right, so that's going to be it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this super festive holiday makeup look. I really love the red lip. I think it looks super cool. I haven't worn a red lip in quite a while, so I thought it'd be really fun to do it, especially since it's the holiday season. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family here. Also, thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more drugstore makeup tutorials on my channel. I really want to start incorporating them more often, but I will only do it if you guys want to see it so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if that's something that you guys want to see all right so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys have an amazing holiday season thank you so much for watching i love you and i will talk to you in my next video bye cold in Cali right now. What's going on? I, mean, I know it's winter and everything, but it's never this cold. Like it's freezing. Holidays, festive sparkle. That sounded so weird. Redo. Back that thing up a little bit. Let's back that thing up. Okay. I'm a little too close there. <laughs> I keep getting the lighting equipment. I'm a hand talker. That's what it is. I'm a hand talker. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five drugstore lipstick picks for the fall and winter months. I think this is definitely a staple color 